welcome back hope you liked the previous lessons and there was a lot of learning for you in them so today we will continue with the next lesson that is for our general examination task 1 letter writing type 2 a uh, formal letter so first of all uh, which letters come in the category of formal letters letters which are written to someone uh, to an individual or to organizations whom we don't know any person with whom we do not have any personal relationship or to any person whom we haven't seen in our life or met so all those persons come in the category of formal letters so the example that we are uh, taking today is right in front of you that you have seen an advertisement for a yoga course and you are keen to join that so here you have to write a letter to the organization or the organizer of the course that you have to give some background information about yourself then you have to say explain your own problems um, be careful about the word problems you have to explain your own problem and why you would like to do the course apart from that you have to inquire about the methods that they use and any other further details that you need to ask so now the main things which are uh, to be kept in mind when we read the questions is individually the requirement first of all background information about yourself so you have to think about um, who you are you are a student or you are a teacher or you are a doctor a bit background information to relate uh, yourself to the topic because it is a yoga course so you have to think of a reason why you want to participate in a yoga course you might be facing some problems which yoga can solve so you have to go back and think okay i have to devise some problems in my life i have to construct a story of my life in such a way that there are some problems and yoga can be a solution to those problems and then you have to inquire about methods and other details be very particular when there is an open question that uh, inquire about methods they have mentioned one specific thing and then they have said about other details other details now you have to be very logical that when you are inquiring about a course you want to join what are the important details that you would definitely want to inquire about so those should be a part of your answer let's see to one sample answer that we have here it says that uh, dear sir or madam because we don't know that person again i am a student at dash university because they said introduce yourself background information about yourself so we are starting who we are i am a student at dash university and i recently saw your advertisement about the yoga course so obviously before starting you should say that i saw your advertisement about uh, on yoga course i felt the need to inquire now generally we write that i am writing to inquire so just to make a um, a little change in the normal writing pattern we have read or we have written i felt the need to inquire about this course because my hectic schedule is taking a toll on my health now the problem that i have i am mentioning in my letter i have given a brief idea that why i am writing why i want to inquire is because my hectic schedule is taking a toll on my health you can even mention my physical as well as my mental health or you can even write my hectic schedule is taking a toll on my mental health and i feel yoga could be the best solution for it now write in the first paragraph the reader would definitely come to know that you are a student you are facing problems you are mentally stressed or um, anxiety levels may be the problem something related to your mental health because of which you are interested you want to inquire about yoga course so all of a brief information but in a very logically organized manner has to be there in the very first paragraph now the second thing was to explain your problems now you have to go in detail about what you have mentioned so we can say that uh, doing studies along with work and also taking care of dependents at home um, has made my life full of hustles so it can be like my life is doing one thing or the other than other than another there is no time for myself there is no time to uh, actually find peace at mind so my life is full of hustle i have tried some meditation techniques but i find it rather difficult but doing it on my own some of the meditation techniques which i have tried they are proving rather difficult to me i have heard about some particular asanas to reduce stress and anxiety levels so now you need to mention why you want to do this course this was all about problems that my life is full of hustle i have tried meditation but it is not working so i have heard about you can even mention so weird 
you can say. So, um, I have heard somewhere about particular asanas in yoga to reduce stress and anxiety levels, but I'm not sure how to do them effectively. So, I have heard about yoga, the miracles that yoga can do to a person, can mention such words also, to reduce stress and anxiety levels, but I don't know how to do them effectively. So, that again brings you to the uh, logical flow of information describing your problems and linking your problems on how or why you want to pursue this course then it would be uh, sorry it should be uh, right I would be grateful if you give me more detailed information about the methods that we use in the course because they said so that we have to inquire about methods so whatever requirement is in the question it has to be in the answer also I would be grateful if you give me more detailed information about the methods that you use in the course as well as the cost and duration. So other details. Definitely we will want to know how much we need to pay for a particular course and apart from that the duration because you have to do your time management according to the duration. As I have the above mentioned commitments, I hope you can offer flexible hours because you have mentioned that you have work, you are studying, you have to look after someone at home. So flexible hours definitely adds a logical thinking to your overall uh, answer. And at the end, I think I could benefit a great deal from your course. That is my thinking that it will benefit me to a great extent. And look forward to your reply. Because it is an inquiry letter, definitely you will be waiting for the reply. So you have to mention it here also. And you have to end it saying yours faithfully. Sincerely goes for semi-formal letters, faithfully, F for faithfully, F for formal, uh, trick to remember, goes for formal letters. So this is how your information should be arranged in a sequence. It should come in a flow. It should not, whenever a person is reading, it should not come like, okay, this was mentioned right at the front, uh, at the beginning. And then here is the lit, uh, other details and then going back and forth. That should not be the case. Coherence and coercion has to be kept in mind. First thing, task achievement, you should answer all the parts of the question and that too logically. The more better is your logic on answering, the better will be your score. Then grammatical range and accuracy. Obviously, you have to take care that you're not writing, I still find it rather difficult. Nouns, verbs, you have to be very careful that you're using nouns and verbs perfectly fine. With every singular noun comes a verb with S and every plural noun comes a verb without S. You have to take care of that. Um, grammatical range. Now, grammatical range means you have to use a variety of sentences. So, we'll quickly go through it again and see how we have converted the simple sentences into compound and complex one. By using the word and here, I have I am a student at uh, this university and I recently saw so words like recently adds more grace to your writer. Advertisement, I felt the need of different way instead of writing, I am writing to inquire. I felt the need to inquire about this course. Now using a conjunction again to make it a compound sentence because my health is taking a toll. And making it a further complex sentence using two conjunctions. Uh, whenever you're writing a formal letter, you have to be very careful that you're using could and would in that because those are formal request words or formal informative words. They have to be there whenever you're writing something formal. Uh, yoga could be the best possible solution. Be very careful that if you're using the third form, you're writing the before that, the best possible solution. Now starting with a different uh, structure, doing studies along with work and also comma taking care of dependence i have tried some meditation techniques comma but i still find it rather difficult uh, so i have heard about particular asanas to reduce stress comma but i am not sure how to practice them effectively i think it works i would be grateful again using wood if you could then putting a condition then starting with as I have mentioned, comma, as and making a complex sentence, I think I could benefit and look forward to your reply. So these are the necessities. If you want to score seven, there, these things should be in your write-up. 
just note them down go through them again take another question from our question list write another letter by putting all these things and if you are able to put even four or five of them in the first write-up you are on the right track you should definitely keep on practicing uh, we are there to give feedback you can practice write a letter send it to us for your for our feedback and we'll tell you how you could have improved better improved more on this particular letter so try to add as much as you can from this try to add as many complex sentences compound sentences using conjunctions that will improve your score even if you are not able to do it practice is only the key go through it again uh, listen to the video again Read it twice or thrice and you will definitely get it because it is written in quite a simple manner for you to understand. And believe me, this letter in the exam will definitely get seven. It includes everything that is required out of the question. So it's not that you have to use high level of vocab or some extraordinary content or anything. It should just go in a flow, right vocab at right place, fulfilling all the question requirements and there you are. Correct? So... Practice this, keep writing, keep practicing and definitely will keep improving. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day.